Hey guys, so today I'm sitting in my car, actually heading down to Orlando. Going to be seeing my wife's aunt and uncle down there. They they own a house down here, and um, they're commissioning for a project um, where basically it's just going to be a shelf that is going to be used to store a lot of the, the knickknacks and you know personal items and stuff. Um, probably going to be playing with some crown molding and some other stuff, and I'm going to be basically filming a video series on what exactly we're going to be doing on this project. So uh, I'm going to start working on splicing some of these videos together and uh, seeing how it goes. You know, coming out to Orlando is always kind of a trippy experience. You see people from all walks of life, all sorts of different backgrounds, and this area that I'm driving in, you see a little bit of everyone. And, uh, you know, some of these people, you just want to you want to ask them, you know, hey, what what brought you to this point in your life? Um, some of these people look extremely wealthy and successful, and looks like they've really got it all together. And you also see the exact opposite. You know, you're wondering what these people were thinking you know, years ago that kind of brought them to the to the point where they're at now. But um, it's always it's always interesting coming to Orlando and some of these other bigger cities around here. Because the stories that these people have and some of the decisions that they made that led them to where they are, it's it's always interesting to uh, to find some of that stuff out. Okay, two things. I just I, I can't wrap my brain around this one. When did it become acceptable to be wearing pajama pants in public? I I never really caught on to that one. And who decided that eighty shorts are cool again? I just I don't get it. Hey guys, so I'm back in the Project Woodworks lair at this point. This is what I call a, uh, my lair. This is just uh, just my garage. But, um, all right, here's the deal. I met with uh, my Aunt Kim and um, her husband, Uncle Rick, and um, this is what we're gonna be doing. Gonna be getting some, some crown molding and some select pine and some dental molding, and we're gonna be putting all that stuff together. Um, and this is gonna be for what's called a plate rack. You know, you have the crown molding way up high at the top, and you have the chair rail down in between there, and then obviously your baseboards at the bottom. This is gonna be right around up in here, okay? There's gonna be a groove cut in the top of the shelf, so the plates can actually sit right in there. Um, there's going to be, um, you know, some staining. Um, the, the stain that we're gonna be going for is kind of a mahogany color. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to put on some of the stain and really try to get that color to match so it matches the cabinets that she recently had put in. So um, next couple days, I'm going to be going to the store, going to be purchasing all this stuff, and I'm um, going to take it just you know one, one step at a time, one day at a time, and I'm um, going to be building everything here in uh, a little workshop. I'm uh, going to be applying the stain and doing as much pre-assembly as we can, so that way when I get over there, it's just a matter of hanging everything up, attaching it, doing the install, and um, everything should go pretty smoothly at that point. But I'm going to be documenting as much of this as I can. I'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks of the, tricks of the trade. And um, it's going to be fun.